Yeah, so guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jay from Kenya, and today I'm in Buganda, Uganda, in Buganda Kingdom. Kingdom. And so we are in this mansion, which apparently was built in 1933. 1933. And so I'm with my guide here, it's called Joseph if I can remember his name correct yeah and I have another friend who was my tour in the other part of the road his name is Dumbaya Haya Wembogo no Kenya no like English name no so okay where we are now mm -hmm. we had our king in the past yeah. from the year of 1939 to the year of 1966 mm -hmm. that is King Edward Mutesa II the father of our reigning king, Lona de Muenda Mutebi, is the 36th king of Uganda. Right. So, yeah. Edward Mutesa, while he was here on this hill called mm -hmm. Mengo, mm -hmm. he used mm -hmm. he used some means of transport, as yeah. we see. Yeah. These are the carmens for King Frederick Mutesa. Mm -hmm. This is the first car. They are free in one. When, uh -huh. when I talk of free in one, yeah. They are together. Yeah. They are attached together. Mm -hmm. This is a car called Daimler, mm -hmm. and its logo is here inside. Mm -hmm. There inside. Yeah. That's a Daimler. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. That's a Daimler. This yeah. is a car called Cadrac. Mm -hmm. Cadrac. Yeah. Cadrac. Mm -hmm. Daimler. There behind we have car wheels. You uh -huh. know wheels? Yes. There is a, a, a logo. It's quite a big one. Yeah, it's a very big. This is a massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So these, these are the wheels of the car called Rolls Royce. As Rose you see Rose. this logo. Oh man, take like it. Rolls Royce, yes. That's Rolls Royce. Yeah. They were destroyed in 1966. Mm -hmm. Here we got a crisis called the Kabaka Crisis mm -hmm. in Mengo. Uh -huh. This bar, this. Paris had turned into a barracks called the Malele Barracks mm -hmm. by the soldiers of Obote held by it Amin Dada. That was in the 1966. 66. Yes. Up to 80s. Right, yes. Many people were killed from this Paris and the blood that sheds off inside that house. That's why the king of Ghana does not stay there. All right. He stays in Banda, Chileka, where he constructs his Paris. But for now, he do come here yes. for some meetings, as you've seen him. Yes, like he's just him. left, yes. Exactly. So he can't live here because of that bloodshed. Exactly, that, that blood that was yeah. poured there inside. Mm -hmm. So, for now, where we are heading, yeah. we are going to the torture chambers of it, I mean the da. Ah. Guys, we are going to the torture chambers of the greatest guy who was being feared around East Africa. Yeah. In the Amini, the da. Yeah. Yes, his son, his son is still... Alive, I think it's two sons. Yeah, two sons. Yes. They, do they live here in Uganda? Uh, some live in Kenya. Yeah. And one live in Uganda. Oh, there, there is one in Kenya. Yeah, one in Kenya. Oh, that's, yeah. Both we are in Kenya, mm -hmm. but one turned back to yeah. Uganda. Okay. This is called, called but Uganda. he's not, uh, like, he doesn't no. have a problem with any government. He looks, yeah. the way how you know Idi Amin that that by face. Yes. And he looks like him. But he, the what? The yes. dues and the dots yes. are different. Okay. From the father to the son. Yeah. Yeah. This guy. Are they be, are, do people not fear him? Ah, they do not fear him. Like he might be a, like a no. duplicate of the father in some way. That guy really mm -hmm. is not a politician. Oh, All right. His father was. Yes. That that guy. Yeah. Is a civilian, a civilian mm -hmm. in Uganda. Yeah. Uh, he's a doctor for now. Oh. Okay, medical doctor. Yes. Mm -hmm. So he loves people. Yes. And people they do love him. Too. Oh, that's good. So those houses that you are seeing, yes. they are the offices. Uh -huh. And the houses that he, King Edward Mutesa the second, his people used to stay inside there. Uh -huh. So but for now yeah. we have the soldiers that you are seeing. Okay. That is the military soldiers of Uganda police. Yes. Uganda EPDF, mm -hmm. Uganda People's Defense Force. Uh -huh. The presidents are the one to give us that security so that they keep the Paris safe. All oh, right. Yeah. So do you know Mugumo tree? Mugumo tree, I know it's in Kenya. It's like, yeah, in, it's a secret from tree. Kikuyu. Yes, Kikuyu. It's yeah, a very it's secret a one. Yes. I think those people, they do sacrifices on those Kikuyu trees. Oh, okay. yeah. Some but not animal, not not human being. It's like animal uh, sacrifice. No, yeah, animal <laughs> sacrifice. <laughs> okay, exactly. <laughs> that would be interesting too. <laughs> yes, here like so, people are being killed here. Yeah, yeah. Just sacrifice, sacrifices for animals. So right. after the torture chamber, mm -hmm. I shall be heading here. Yeah, that's where I will make a back road from. Okay, a back road. 
Oh, for right. my Mogumo tree. All oh, right. Yeah. Uh -huh. There is some clan. artwork yeah. going on there. Yeah. A clan called a clan of an otter clan. Do you know an otter? Otter, no. An otter, that animal lives in water. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the people who mm -hmm. are allowed or yeah. their main job in the Uganda kingdom mm -hmm. are to make a back road. Mm, okay. Yeah. And long ago, our ancestors mm -hmm. or our beloved grandpas and moms used that back road as their main cloth mm -hmm. and their bed sheets. Right. Because mosquitoes, mm -hmm. they can't pierce it. All right. Yeah. And the dead bodies of Baganda people. Yeah. Are wrapped in back road mm -hmm. to make it family mm -hmm. and way apart. Mm -hmm. does not load. The body does not load. Yeah. To just uh, sometimes to just uh, the body. Yeah. Just dry up. Yeah. Yeah. And remain in the same shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. That's the bagan. Now you want to introduce this? Exactly. So. Uh -huh. We are adding uh -huh. that's the Id Amin's torture chamber, right. but it was an amale in the year of 1970s. Uh -huh. so uh, the Israelites yeah. are the one to construct that. The Israelites constructed this. Yeah, Idi Amin Dada, while he was the leader of the soldiers of Obote in yes. 1970, uh -huh. he went in Israel uh -huh. and hired those Israelites to come and construct the amale, wow. where to keep firearms. Yeah. All fire weapons, yeah, they were kept from there. Oh, this is but unfortunately, yeah. when Idi Amin Dada became mm -hmm. the third president of Uganda, yeah, he tortured the people from this side. He changed the animal into a torture chamber in 1971 to 1979. A Quite lot of amazing. Ugandans were tortured and killed here. So, while you're going here, it was like you're going to like a death chamber kind of a thing. Exactly. Wow, oh, that's exactly that's insane. Yeah. So the Israelites yes. came in Uganda in 1970 uh -huh. to construct a store. Oh, that oh. is an amale. Yeah. An amale that is the store where firearms are mm -hmm. kept. Mm -hmm. So they came in, in Uganda, Uganda. Yeah. When the king mm -hmm. Edward Mutesa already in exile in yeah. London, Ongeleza where he died from and he was poisoned by two women who were sent by Obote and after being killed mm -hmm. Obote refused to bring back or to repatriate back his body but when Idi Amin Dada became a president mm -hmm. for the good thing he did he brought back or he repatriated back the body of Edward Nutes and they loved him a lot but wow. unfortunately he did some very bad things here yeah. whereby he changed the Amale into a torture chamber where Ugandans, thousands and thousands were kept. So there was a metallic door here. And before we go in, yes. I'm sensing something like once you speak here, echo. it's a very kind of a different echo. Can you hear? Exactly. It's like a loudspeaker. Exactly. Like that's an insane kind of architecture. Uh, yeah. That this echo. is insane, guys. Like, <laughs> this is something that you want to come and experience here in, in yeah. Buganda. So, yeah. there was an electric wire mm -hmm. that was thrown in water. So, these two wow. lines, yes. you see these two lines, the black line yeah. on both sides, yes. those are that was the height of water that they used to power here. But wow. now that the water that you are seeing, yes. this torture chamber is somehow linking. Yes. And now, yes. But the other times in the year of 1971, yeah. there was a switch, yeah. an electric switch. Yes. It yeah. was used to pull on and off yeah. so that those people were electrocuted from here. Wow. My God. There's water here, but we, we have to continue walking. Yeah. It's okay. So there are five cells yes. inside. Yes. As you see, uh -huh. there was a sliding door. Very dark. Here. It was a sliding door. Oh, right. As you see, yes. down yeah. and upwards. There was a sliding door on yeah. those five cells. Uh -huh. Those five cells were full of Ugandans. Only men, a hundred brass, were kept for a full week yeah. without giving them food, water, and they were not giving them treatment because they used to 
chop off the hairs, remove the fingernails, they were torturing all the So the them. stories are right. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. people were yeah. endangered and yeah. killed from there inside. Yeah. So we have some visitors who always come here and write such yeah, words as they, you see. We are so lost in peace. Yeah. Never forget Justin. Oh, this is insane. Uh -huh. So a hundred people are kept inside. Yeah. Every chamber. Every chamber. Yes, it's a, a bit dark. Plus. Yes. A hundred plus. It's in the rains people now. Lost their lives from here. Yeah. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. long ago, five years back. Yeah. There came a woman yeah. who lost his husband here and wrote such a word that never forget my husband was killed by the people of Obote and Idi Amin Dada for his torture chamber. Oh, right. And I'm seeing some pipes. Yeah, those pipes, just that was a design yeah. of this Amale. Oh, of, of this, yeah, okay. Yeah. This height this is amazing. Yes. They construct this amale <laughs> on this height because like those lorries who yeah. blow yeah. the uh, those the fighting weapons, yeah. they use they were easy to offload the machines and unload the machines. Yes. Exactly. Oh, so so in can... each torture chamber they kept a hundred plus people, you see blood on walls. People yeah. are running from outside. Wow, this is insane. There's some kind of footsteps yeah, and blood. Yeah, that is blood. Yes. Not solo, those... but blood. Oh, it's blood. Blood. Oh, come on. Uh, and I can see something there. Do you know what it is from a distance? Ah, uh, that's mud. Oh, mud. Okay. Yeah, that's mud. Yeah. yeah. And we have like two ventilations there. Yeah. Those uh, are no. not ventilators. Yeah. Just they dug a pit in soil. That yeah. is a design. Okay. Oh, Those right. people, yeah, they yeah. died of suffocation because they were kept inside for a full week. Without food, without food. There without was time. no light. Yes. Just light was here only. This guy was and a they beast. Used to move some people who were yeah. doctors, yeah. who were teachers, lecturers, and we are tortured from here. Yeah. They were electrocuted. And so as you see, fingerprints here are yeah. exactly as yeah. you see here. Yeah. yeah. The the layers, are wrong, people yeah. were yearning yeah. to go yeah. inside and to move outside. Wow. So their bodies, unfortunately, they were poured in Lake Victoria. Ah. Oh. River Nilo and the King's Lake. There was a king called Daniel Manga from 1885 to 1897. He dug a lake there. They wow. used the hose to dug that lake. A, a one mad made lake in Uganda. It is dead. Wow. I think I will, I'll come to visit that lake. Style. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So it's people, kind of insane. We are killed from here. Yeah. Massive kill. It's kind of amazing, like the way it looks there. Yeah. Wow. wow. Just water. This thing yeah. is just linked. It's kind of amazing how the place looks. So when was the year? Like it was 1966, you uh, say? No, from 1966. That's when that's when it was built. Yeah. It yeah, in yeah. 1970. Oh, well, that's good. Then we have like somewhere we can go down yeah, the ladders. Yeah, yeah. So that's it's nice. So. Just as you know. Yeah. Yes. A good architecture. 1971. Yeah. Idi Amin Dada started. Yeah. To capture Ugandans, mm -hmm. because who disobeyed him, yeah. who disobeyed the rules and regulations of Idi Amin Dada, who yeah. loved Obote, yeah. because Obote, after being captured uh -huh. from where he was in yeah. Singapore for Commonwealth meeting, yeah. he went in Tanganyika, yeah. that was Tanzania, Tanzania yes. by this time. Yes. Tanganyika by the other time. Yes. That the, was Julius Kabalaga Nyerere. Yes, and that's nice. I've seen a tap there. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was Julius Kabalaga Nyerere Mwalimu yes. who gave him support to come and attack Idi Amin Dada in 1979. And Idi Amin so, Dada... Oh, can, can, can you come up again that statement about uh, Nyerere? Something I... Julius Kabalaga Nyerere yes. was the president of yes. Tanzania. Tanzania, yes. Or Tanganyika. Yes. In the years of 1970, yes, 79, there. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah. unfortunately, mm -hmm. after it, after Idi Amin Dada mm -hmm. took over Uganda yeah. as a third president, mm -hmm. he called Obote. Obote was Singapore okay. for Commonwealth meeting. He yeah. told him that yeah. never come back to Uganda. Yeah, we're no longer president. Oh, so right, Obote yeah. rushed in Tanganyika, mm -hmm. that president. You ask Kamala Yeah, two. To get, get some somewhere yeah. 
to sit and discuss matters how to conquer this guy. Yeah. But in 1979, yeah. Mwani Julius gave soldiers Obote to come attack Uganda to, to capture Idi Amin Dada. Wow. But unfortunately, this guy was they, a atta- yeah. Yeah. they attacked Idi Amin Dada for two times. Yeah. The first time, mm-hmm. Idi Amin Dada won the war. Those guys went back mm-hmm. just to study more tactics of capturing. Yes, because they saw this is, this is not what they expected. Yeah. Yeah. So they went back in yeah. that same year, mm-hmm. in 1979, <laughs> that same year, they came back <laughs> with, <laughs> with military the... tactics. Yeah. They attacked Idi Amin Dada. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. they didn't capture him. Again. Because that chance mm-hmm. of lashing mm-hmm. into Saudi Arabia. In the uh, capital city called Jida, yeah, where he was died from, he died of syphilis, unfortunately. Of what? Syphilis. Syphilis. Yeah. Idi Amin. Idi Amin Dada. Oh, and right. unfortunately, so he he was like having lots of women then. Uh, yeah, exactly. So that's an STD something. Yeah, yeah, STD. yeah. Ah, yes. for, uh, unfortunately, his yeah. body was not repatriated back. Yeah. Because of the obscenes. Oh, what he did the outside. Yeah. So yeah. like he was left there. Exactly. Oh. So yeah. that's where I make back from. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you will have time mm-hmm. and we demonstrate for you how to make it and we sell that in Mugumo skin. No, maybe maybe back maybe maybe we pass by. No just yes, just to pass by. Okay. Because I have like forty seven minutes of on here, so this is amazing. So mm-hmm. can just I some few words like uh, Panao, mm-hmm. so that's a mugumo tree. Mm-hmm. So that's a back road from a mugumo tree. A mugumo tree it's here. Oh, yeah. That's a mugumo tree ficus natalasis mm-hmm. or fig tree. Yeah. That's where we baganda mm-hmm. we make back road mm-hmm. from a mugumo tree. Wow. So this is our house is and uh, we have a. Uh, this is the Muganda dress. So we use oh, different oh, marrits. Oh, These are wooden marrits yeah. to make a back mm-hmm. The big one mm-hmm. is the best one yeah. because it makes it soft mm-hmm. and extremely light. Mm-hmm. The more times you pound, we use a wooden beam. So this, yeah. this is a wooden beam. The, mm-hmm. the more times you pound, mm-hmm. the, the more times you pound, yeah. it so ex- enlarge. The more time you pound it yeah. and large yeah. and it makes it in it. After using and this bags, first wooden marrot, we get another one. Was from After from making the, in the it in it, sometimes some so Baganda people so many, uh, they smoke it. This one. These are the some they sun dry. Yeah. After yeah. making yeah. it yeah. fine, yeah. oh, yeah. we get we make a different yeah. art yeah. on this So this is an African fabric. Yeah. This type of work. So now, this is a back row. So in case and that is the normal so color of just roll it. We reach a really back row, yeah. just turn and the these back. are the heads of and a glove. Mm-hmm. As you see, mm-hmm. I think in Kenya yeah. you have yeah. like a zoos. Yeah. And it, yeah, yeah, and game so parks. Yes. Yes. You have this. This animal is Yeah, so you have are so beautiful. Yeah. So that is it. This is the only thing you can take from Uganda. Amazing. So that's a, um, some, yeah. Yeah. So guys, if you've never seen a mogumo tree, maybe it's your first time. Yeah. So it is. It's a secret tree. Uh, Kikuyu tribe, where I'm from, in some way, <laughs> we're, we're supposed to pray. Yeah. <laughs> and the Weber Ganda, right, yeah. we make some local beers from different banana species. All oh, right. Yeah. There's something yeah. that I had. That's in, yeah. a yellow banana species. It uh-huh. turns yellowish, mm-hmm. yeah, and we make yeah. that local beers. Wow, like Ngule, mm-hmm. yeah, like Kwete. I think you don't know. I don't know those. Yeah. Are they like beers, local beers? Yeah, local Where beers. are they found? Ah, uh, we have different shops here in Uganda, yeah, and supermarkets. They sell them. Uh, I think I will yeah. try that. Yeah, look looks like some. Yeah. Looks like so sweet. Looks like something I want. Yeah, like, I have to try. We got a chance. Yeah. Uh, harmonizer visit Uganda, yeah, and he used to test on those local beers. Yeah, guys, I have to try that beer. Yeah. <laughs> See how, how it tastes and the percentage of alcohol content. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly.
Yeah. So sweet. Mm -hmm. So sweet. Okay. Oh, this so is yeah, really nice. Inside, yeah. I'm going to inhalate a story for you about the king's fireplace. Okay. Wow, that's yeah. Hello. That king's fireplace. Yes. It continues burning. Mm -hmm. There is a fire. Oh, like morning to it, morning to it continues like all the time. Uh, yeah. Ah, so. It does not like yeah. you can't find you can't go there without and you can't find there there is no fire. There is yeah. fire every day. Every day. And we Baganda we believe yeah. or we people we believe that where smoke is yeah, there is fire. fire. <laughs> and that's what we do. Alright. Yeah. To keep the firewoods around. Yes. We put some little firewood. Mm -hmm. so Before you go, I've seen some structures there. The yeah, toilets, those yeah? Are the toilets. Okay. Yeah. Stemming back the time. So that is the perimeter wall that was constructed in 1884. Wow. Yeah. And this has been like the reception from since? Exactly. Okay. So that's, that's uh, a traditional fence for the king's carousel. It looks really beautiful. Yeah. Uh, those are the reeds, not bamboo. Ah. Oh. But reeds. Yeah. Those ones. Okay. This is the main gate yeah. where the king passed in the middle. Uh -huh. And that this is amazing. Easy yeah. roundabout. Also, so once he wants to come, he comes straight. When, just like there. When he's Down. from the parliament, yeah. that building, that's yeah. the parliament. Okay. He passed in the middle of that. He, you see that he, the two pillars painted in brown. Yeah. That is roundabout, the first roundabout. Yeah. It has a spear mm -hmm. and bow. Mm -hmm. Shows that the king of Uganda is the lion of Uganda, and another roundabout, it's that one. And it's the same lion, something. Yes, okay. exactly. Oh, wow. Exactly. Let me go there. Let us see the okay. second roundabout. Can, the second roundabout. Yes. Do we do we have anything yes, uh, here inside so we can see before we get out? Like nothing. Or nothing. Oh, nothing. Yeah. That's the palace that where he lives. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful place. Oh. So guys, if you're new here, can you subscribe? Thank you. Yeah. So here we are. So next face, this is the gate. Looks really beautiful. Okay. Yeah. That's a mugumo tree. Oh yes. Have you seen? Yes, yes, yes. That's the same like desert. Yes. So this is the king fireplace. You yeah. can look here. Mm-hmm. Ekio. Ekio to gombolola. Ekio to gombolola. Chaka obuta zikira okumala obulambo akabaka bona. Where by it says that. This fireplace, yeah. it continues burning mm -hmm. Monday to Sunday, the whole life of the king. Wow. This fireplace constantly burns throughout the, the king's, king's life. life. Exactly. And is it burning now? Yeah, it is burning because there is smoke and there oh, is heat. All right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is heat. Okay. So, okay. So guys, if you're new here, can you subscribe? Let's see. You see smoke? Oh yeah, I can see there's a smoke. Maybe you guys you can see, but I can see smoke like there is a spear. Where is it? Yes, there's a spear there. Shows that the king of Uganda is, is loyal. Uh -huh. And the horror is fights, he does not fear. Yeah. Everything. Mm -hmm. So there is a clan. Yeah. Uh, about like an entrop. Do you know an entrop? Yes, I know an entrop, yeah. Those are the people that are concerned about this fireplace of the king. Wow. Yeah. They are allowed yes. to collect fire with that mugumo tree mm -hmm. and other types of trees mm -hmm. so that they put fire inside. Wow. If you come here and you do not find fire inside, mm -hmm. it means the king of Uganda is passed away. Wow. So someone, if he passes away, like someone will uh, They come and they move firewood and yes. they pour water there inside. So that's a that's a confirmation that he's still exactly. alive. Ah, this, exactly. is, this is really nice. So, yes. for me, mm -hmm. I just thank you for coming to Tua Buganda, Uganda. Thank you very much. Yes. Exactly. Yes. We love you so much. Thank you very much. Exactly. This has been Joseph. Yeah. He has shown us the whole tour. So kindly, guys, subscribe. And if you can, just kindly visit this place. Exactly. I've seen Ki Kisiringe Road up there. Yes. Then what's a specific name if someone wants to come and visit? The tour. From, yes. That person, he yes. needs to come to Bulange. Bulange. Or oh, where CBS FM is and BBS. Yes. BBS, it's located in Mengo. Yeah, yeah. The area is called Mengo. 
wow. where BBS mm -hmm. and the King's Parliament yes. or the Buganda Parliament, that yes. Bulange building is yes. where it's found. Uh -huh. That load starts from the verandas of the Parliament, yes. the verandas of the King's house. Wow, wow. That load, they will yes. pass in that same load. So, the guys, mile. that's how you can locate them. Exactly. And it's been a wonderful tour guide, it's called Joseph. Exactly. So if you love his services, then you can come, Thank see you. him, and maybe appreciate his work as well. So it's really nice. So he's given us like a full detail of the whole place, and it's really looking nice, beautiful, more beautiful than maybe you're seeing it on camera. If you come to see it live, it will, it's more beautiful than that. Thank you. So thank you very much for that. Exactly. So uh, hopefully we we'll meet again. Exactly. Yeah. So guys, subscribe. Peace and love.